Hello, I'm Steve from KT Heating and I'm going to guide you through some potential fixes if your boiler or heating system is not working. This may assist and save you calling out an engineer. Firstly, let's check to see if you have power to your boiler. Are there any control display lights on the boiler visible? Is the power off? If so, are there other appliances affected? If they are affected, you will need to check your main electrical fuse board. Is the main switch off or any switches in the off position? After turning on the switches, check to see if you have power by trying a socket or a light switch. If you still have no power, then you need to call out an electrician. Having established that you have electricity, check your boiler and controls. Are there any control display lights on the boiler visible? If yes, then the boiler has electricity. Therefore, you need to turn on your heating. You can do this by turning your programmer to 24 hours or constant and by turning up your room thermostat. If there is still no visible display lights or indicators on the boiler, check the boiler fuse spur or power switch. This should be adjacent to the boiler. Has it been accidentally turned off? Switch it on again and check the boiler display or controls for any indication of electrical power. Having established we have electricity to the boiler and it's still not working, we now need to check the gas supply. Check if you have gas available on other appliances. For example, is your gas hob working? If not, check your gas meter. If you have a card meter, has the card run out of credit? Check the gas emergency control valve. This is usually by your gas meter. It may have been accidentally turned off. If the emergency gas valve has been turned off, we recommend that this is checked by a gas safe registered engineer to ensure there are no other gas safety issues. Please call out your k &T heating engineer. Check if you have water available from your taps, both hot and cold. This is especially important for combination boilers. Is there a pressure indicator or gauge that will show you there is water in the boiler and radiator system? This is usually on the front of the boiler or behind the boiler customer control door. The radiator and system water pressure should be around 1 to 1.5 bar. If it is less than 0.5 of a bar, it will need to be refilled and checked by a KT heating engineer. If the boiler has electrical power, gas and water, then we need to look at the boiler type to narrow down any issues with the heating and hot water. COMBI stands for combination boiler, and with a combination boiler, hot water is instantaneously heated on demand. If your boiler usually lights up or starts when you turn on the tap, it is likely to be a combination boiler. With a combination boiler, if the boiler lights up on heating demand, 80 to 90% of the boiler components are working. If you still do not have hot water, this will mean there is a problem with the hot water boiler process, and this will need to be attended by a k &T heating engineer. A regular or system boiler would normally have a storage cylinder for hot water. Do you have a cylinder fitted in your airing cupboard in your home? If the answer is yes, you have a regular or system boiler. Is your heating working? Please complete the following steps to ensure your boiler is enabled for heating function. Is the boiler control timer set to 24 hours or continuous to enable it to call for heat? You will need to ensure the clock timer is calling for heat to create the demand. Is the boiler heating thermostat turned up to maximum? If the boiler thermostat is set too low, the boiler may not turn on. If you have one, is your room thermostat turned up to call for heat, approximately 25 degrees? The thermostat needs to be set hotter than the space in which it is fitted to create a demand for heat. The room thermostat is normally fitted on the wall in the living space or hallway. If we've tried all these steps and the boiler still hasn't come on, then we need to press the reset button on the boiler. The boiler will go through an internal checking process and hopefully try to start. After having gone through all the previous checks with no result, 
Try turning off the power for 20 seconds and turning it on again. This may sometimes reactivate and reset the boiler electronics. You can use the same information for a regular or system boiler to create a heating demand. If your boiler fails to operate for heating after these checks, then call in the K&T heating engineer to check the system, boiler and operation.